standards. There's got to be certain standards everyone here agrees to that means you're a part of this church and operating the leadership. And I'll be the first to sign. Uh, no problem signing. When, when we started the church, I wrote the bylaws. I, I, won, I got our 501c3 designation because I had done them for other churches. And in our one of our first meetings, Gwen, who was then the treasurer, went through the bylaws and asked me this question. She said, am I reading this right? I said, what are you talking about? I'm reading in the bylaws how to get rid of you. I said, you, yeah, you're reading it right. Well, why would you write that? Because I want the church I want the church to be protected against me because I'm a sinner. And if I have no standards and if I have no accountability, accountability is a good thing in your life, not a bad thing to know that because the sin nature is so strong to know up front you're going to have to answer. If that ain't a huge deterrent in my life, I don't know what is huge for me. And it scared me half to death all the time. And I told her, we might one day have 500 members. I might get the big head. That's, those are my exact words, sir. And that was in 1996. I said, well, one day, at that point, we got 30-something, maybe. I said, one day, we might have 500. I said, I, I got to, you know, I might get the big head. I didn't know we'd have thousands. But accountability in your life, my life, is a big part of a successful walk with God. Not allowing time, opportunity, and place to come together for stupid stuff to happen. Have wisdom. It takes wisdom to be a leader. It's not just eloquence and, and intelligence. It's wisdom. It's knowing where you're weak, knowing where you're strong. It takes wisdom. And that wisdom is not a human wisdom. It's the wisdom. It, it comes from God. You have, he said, you got to fall on your knees and ask for that. Lord, give me the wisdom that can only come from above. The Bible says it is the principle. When you do that, you find walking with God and all that difficult. It's just got rules and boundaries and things. When you line up within that, this becomes a very enjoyable thing. I love my walk with God. And I've been loving it for years, not just because I got old. I, I, I love it. It's beautiful. It's just that, that, like anything else, there are boundaries and, and things I can't cross to maintain. I'm okay with that. Because how am I going to do any better than what I'm doing? I got a beautiful wife for 45 years. I have three fantastic children, seven and eight grandchildren. I got my health, my strength, my wife is healthy. How is sin going to add anything to my life? Mm.